Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With the easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today we're going to be covering the requirements for sprinkler inspections. So in order to start talking about sprinkler inspection requirements, we're going to need to go into NFPA 25, which is the standard for the inspection, testing, and maintenance of water-based fire protection systems. So we're going to go into here, we're going to look at the 2023 edition, and we're talking about sprinkler systems. So we're going to go into chapter 5, we're talking about inspections, so we're going to go into 5.2, and when we see the section here, we see 5.2 is on inspections, 5.2.1 is on sprinklers. I'm going to look at the two first requirements. Those are where you're going to find your main requirements for sprinkler inspections. Here we have 5.2.1.1 says that sprinklers shall be inspected from the floor level annually. This is important, meaning that when I go into a facility to do a sprinkler inspection, I'm on the floor looking up at the sprinklers. There's no requirement that I pull out a ladder and get within a certain distance of these sprinklers. Um, I'm, I'm doing it all from the floor level. And then looking at 52111 here, any sprinkler that shows signs of any of the following needs to be replaced. So if I have sprinklers that show signs of leakage, corrosion that looks detrimental to the sprinkler's performance, any physical damage, any loss of fluid in the glass bulb heat responsive element, any loading that's detrimental to the sprinkler performance, or any paint that's on a sprinkler other than paint that's applied by the sprinkler manufacturer and is detrimental to that sprinkler performance, that is gonna require me to have to go ahead and, and replace a sprinkler. Now, these six items are all here because these are all items that are detrimental to sprinkler performance and we wanna make sure that all of our sprinklers are going to respond to a fire as intended. So if I wanted to learn a little bit more about these requirements and, and how these are detrimental to sprinkler performance, I could go ahead and look in here in, in the Annex A52111, which goes over how all of these items uh, discussed here can be detrimental to sprinkler performance. So if you wanted to read through this section, that would give you a lot more information. So I hope that that was able to provide some insight into sprinkler inspections per NFPA 25. For more information on how NFPA Link can give you the knowledge that you need to get the job done right, go ahead and go to www.nfpa.org link.